阿弥陀佛，呃，谢谢师父。嗯、um, ，So like when we travel, our heart first thing, thank you, venerable, for being very kind、uh, in his words.、Uh, and then now back to the point, heart is not at peace. Uh, that's the one of the um, uh, how to say one of the um conclusions I found after I traveled. Uh, so this is something that warrants uh to maybe uh uh. Give rise to two kind of reaction. Number one is finding the cause. Why am I not at peace? Even though I've been to many good places and good people.、Um, second one is because I'm not、uh, satisfied with the joy. I seek to shop more, more places to play,、uh, to enhance the sensory uh, enjoyment. Uh, so venerable say that、uh, you know、uh, we can learn to be more introspective. In our、uh, thoughts and our experiences,、uh, rather than seeking the、uh, outer pleasures, or、uh, seeking to enhance or add more、uh, a point of pleasure in, in, into our、uh, externally,、uh, because、um, because asking the right question is the beginning of you know finding the right solution, getting to the root. Of all of it, if we only dwell on the surface, say, oh, I think I don't think I shop enough. I don't think I play enough. I need to go more places. I need to travel more places, uh, uh, to you know, uh, to be to be more happy. Then, uh, we will never be satisfied. We、we'll、never reach that point where we're content, at peace. We're always seeking more and more and more and more. Uh, so it's very important to uh find out the right uh questions and pursuit. Solution in the right direction. In this case, find find a way to put ourselves at peace, our heart at peace, no matter what we do. Amitov. Ah,、uh, 师傅有很多有些问题啊。师傅您还要啊啊，我敌人会讲吗？还是？呃，是有有人问问题了是吧？有两位，有两位。哦，好好好，那个。这个我我们刚刚提到，比方说 shopping 啊，嗯，就是说，我们想从外面呢、啊、找到快乐啊，来解决问题嘛啊。那大家有没有遇过啊？好，哪一个人啊，他他有痛苦了啊，然后他去 shopping 啊，最后他呢啊，就从此就很安乐了啊，都没有再有痛苦了啊。很可能呢，他得越买越多，呃，因为刺激嘛，强度要越来越大啊。然后，但是呢，好像问题还是没有解决，所以这个要从外面来解决问题啊，啊，透过刺激来解决问题，得到新的安乐，这不大可能的了。对，啊，所以佛法就是教我们安心的方法了。Uh, so, talk, speaking of shopping, uh, the um, instead of uh, say if we're discontent, you know, this is one of the sufferings we have is discontentment or greed, and we might fall in the trap of getting more shoppings to to fulfill in that gap, the void that can never be filled, or any other sort of、um, entertainment. Uh, uh, so you know, it's very important for us to find a solution to、uh, how to say. Um, to con,、uh, to 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 actually get to the bottom of these uh, uh, issues, rather than、uh, covering our eyes and you know blindly pursue、uh, pleasure,、uh, because we will never be able to solve the problem without getting to the root.、Uh, Buddhism is always about getting to the root of the problem,、uh, and 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 then eventually solve it. Metaphor. 呃，这个心要安呐、啊，就大家有没有啊？比方说小时候的感觉啊，啊，好像啊，在外面遇到什么事情啊，进了这个家的门呢、啊，好像心很安了。这个爸爸妈妈哈、啊，哎，兄弟姐妹啊，都都会一起支持我，把这个事情啊解决掉。啊，没有解决不了的问题，好像天塌下来都有爸爸妈妈扛着，所以这个家让人很安心呢、啊。哦
，所以我们现在要到哪一个家具呢，才能什么问题都解决，心才能够安呢？哎，这个是我们要要要思考的问题了，以什么为归宿了，才能真正解决问题了？啊、哦，所以释迦牟尼佛都劝我们要求生西方极乐世界，啊，那个才是脱离了轮回了，因为没有出去轮回啊，问题没解决了，啊，我们还是要一直轮回，一直一直受苦了，这个心还是安不了，哦，所以我们往生了，痛苦就解决了。而且呀、啊，现在呢，心能安在阿弥陀佛佛号上啊，问题也能解决。啊，你安在佛号上，你的心就会越来越安定。啊，而且你念佛的时候啊，阿弥陀佛会加持你啊，啊，加持你呢，你就业障会消啊，垢灭善身呢。生意柔软，身心都会越来越好，哦，然后越来越定了啊、哦，而且心越来越清净啊，清净心呢、啊、生智慧，你好好念佛，心安在佛号，不烦恼，心越来越有越清净了，你遇到事情啊，你就知道怎么去处理了，哦，所以念佛除了让我们。这一生能往生极乐世界之外，其实当下就能帮助我们很大，帮助我们心安下来，不要胡思乱想，帮助我们心清净啊，有智慧去处理事情。所以今天讲安心哈、啊，要要安在阿弥陀佛上面啊。阿弥陀佛，感恩师父。嗯 ，in the You know, daily life, and you know, when sometimes we meet problems with our relationships or any other worldly matters, jobs,、uh, financials, etc.,、uh, we find you know going back to our parents' home, you know, going back to that familiar、uh, routine, familiar people, familiar smell, food, puts us at ease. You know, going home basically puts us at ease. That home that we, our heart belongs to, puts us at ease. So does our,、um, you know, cultivation in Buddhism. Like in our real life, you know, where do we actually return to to solve all these soft sufferings, these issues?、Um, six rims never stopped moving. It keeps recreating these problems and again and again and again. It keeps going. There is no ending to this. So the way we can get out of it is to go to a home where we can,、uh, you know, like. We go into our parents' house or the house that we call home, a place we call home, to 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 shelter from all this or to get away from all these troubles. In our way, we use Amitofo. If our heart is set on Amitofo, to be honest, we can solve all the problems. Why? Because mindfulness on Amitofo has many benefits.、Uh, first thing, Amitofo already has the vow in his forty-eight vows to give us a、uh, how to say to bless us with what we need in daily life with. What we、uh, exactly need in our daily life, and also the mentally, spiritually, it puts us at ease. If our heart is settled,、uh, everything is clear, because a settled, a settled heart will clarify our mind,、uh, the thoughts, and everything. And a clear mind will help us to give rise to wisdoms.、Uh, Because we can see things clearly, we can find the root of the problem. We can go step one, step two, step three, naturally. So we need to start settle our heart on Amitofo, and that will help us to produce more, how to say, cl- clarity. Because we don't move around、uh, frantically anymore, and hence we have more wisdom to overcome all the problems that thrown at us in this world. Hence, important. It's very important to have a pure heart, a heart that is. Clear, pure.、Um, yeah, that's it. That's, that's my note. 好，啊，迪伦好像有几个问题哈、哦，那可以有有英文的，再麻烦你。好，翻译一下。Uh, 好的，师傅
So I will start moving on to another question. So Dimple Week, uh, our guest, uh, has said that as a little in the workplace, how do you know when to take a soft versus strict approach with staff to influence them? If a staff member is rude to others, how to protect others by controlling this behavior whilst not being controlling? So Shifu, this拿捏这个分寸就是管理的分寸就是什么时候应该严格什么时候应该比较柔和一点什么时候应该严什么时候应该柔因为他面对的这些员工啊有些员工非常的无理对人家比较粗鲁讲话粗鲁还是态度粗
。那护念人呢？啊，孔子说因材施教啊。那这个人很恶劣的，那当然你，你你就要用规范呢、啊，啊，公司的规范呢、啊，啊，甚至比较严肃，啊，你你不够严肃呢，他都好像。不当回事，哦，那这个时候你得要严肃，跟他讲了，啊，哦，那眼睛看着他，炯炯有神啊，很有威严，哦，然后心里念阿弥陀佛，嗯，哦，那那但不要动气，啊，就是很很威严的劝导他。啊，然后为他好，劝导他的过程，啊，利害关系啊，跟他说明白，这样做对你自己很不好，啊，就是哪怕我们是去指正他，我们就是那种言语的表达，也让对方觉得我们是为他好的，虽然我们的言语是严肃的。而说实实在在的，我们确实也是会他，哦，因为我们不是发脾气，我们也没有跟他对立啊。啊、哦，我我曾经，我们呢带一个班六年级男同学呀，啊、哦，很是很调皮啊，啊、哦，哎，但是但是我劝他的时候啊，我是真正为他好，啊、哦，所以我劝劝劝他，劝他，我自己都流眼泪了。啊，被我自己感动了，嗯，哦，哦，所以公司是有公司的规定的，所以规定是要讲原则，这个要面对这个不守规矩的人，还是还是要严格，哦，哦，那他不对的时候，你要严格。他有表现好的，你也赞叹他，哎，让他感觉，哇，这领导不是对我有看法，他是对事不对人，啊，我有有一点不错了，他还是肯定我的，好，哦，就是一一个原则吧，哈、哦，那当然，员工刚进来的时候啊。我们带的原则还是先严后宽，哦，你假如一开始宽了、啊，后来要严就不好严了，哦，就好像我们在学校带班，一开始要建立规矩，啊、哦，你不能班级来了，哇，他们都很散漫的，到时候你一严格了，他就跟你结怨了，啊、哦，你一开始来，哎，他还比较。谨慎的态度，战战兢兢，哎，你讲规矩，哎，让他守规矩了，啊、哦，哎，慢慢慢慢可以，大家守规矩了，可以放宽一点，啊、哦，他就会觉得，哎呀，这领导真慈祥，啊，这个先严后宽，好，感恩师傅，呃，我们先啊、呃，从 ，so we start with the 啊、uh,。The、um, response of venerable towards the first question.、Uh, if we forgot, we recall that the Tongshu,、uh, the brother, Dharma sister, brother, is a leader in workplace. Would like to know what is the best way to manage a difficult staff、uh, while not being too much, too controlling, too overbearing. So basically, how do we manage others and ourselves?、Uh, so first thing,、uh, venerable said, Rome is not built in one day. In, in in the direct translation would be the、uh, formation of the、uh, iceberg is not done within three days. That means to be an iceberg, it takes a long, long time of accumulation. So facing these kind of problems, we need to have patience. First thing, we need to be very patient because it cannot be solved immediately. So that staff is already an adult, right? That means they know the rules, right? If we face this, this situation of people being rude to another,、uh, you know, being very how to say overbearing, not you know, considerate, being、uh, how to say un 
wholesome towards other people, then we are witnessing a consequences of lacking uh, kindness, the teaching of kindness, teaching of morality, teaching of love, you know, a, 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 a humanity teaching. It's very lacking uh, in our society. You are witnessing this reality before your eyes. So in face of these facts, in face of these, uh, how to say, realities in our society, we need to be patient. We need to understand it, it cannot be solved immediately. You can't just you can't just whip them back to shape. It's not how it works. Um, however, uh, um, because this kind of negligence does not happen in one day, it's a long overdue generational process of negligence in teaching this uh, morality, decencies, uh, you know, being kind to other people, uh, putting others before yourself. This thing is, has been neglected for many generations uh, and leading cause and effect leading to this kind of outcome. Um, first priority. So in face of this, our first thought would be emotion. What is our emotion? Uh, uh, you know, what kind of emotion are we in? All right. If we cannot manage our emotions, we cannot get our point across to them. We cannot get our point to their heart, to their ears, to their mind. Because it's overbear it was overwhelmed with our emotions our temper yes we really want to help them we really want to protect the staff that was being bullied but if we already started with being angry flaring the temper then we already lose the first first step we already lose the first game uh, so it's actually quite similar to managing children according to Warren Paul their impressions of you you know starts because they register their em your emotion first faster than they register your actual point. They, they register the reaction that you have, you know, the anger, the, the face, the, the tone, before they actually listen to what you want to say. Um, that's why we need to start with our emotions. People who get angry easily actually is the one who get it, had it worst in their life. We should be more sympathetic towards them. So those people who are hard to, defeat, hard to manage usually are people who you know, have the issues with their emotions, temper flaring, right? Or they, they can't control themselves and hence lashing out on other people, doing something untowards others. Uh, so these people are the one that should be sympathized, should be understood as uh, or sad rather than just being angry towards them. Why? Because uh, every action has a reaction. Every cause has an effect. Karma is always there no matter what you do. And this person, people who do this, you know, do un things that are untowards to others, things that are bad towards others, will get it manifolds in future. So their future is bleak, painful, suffering, and more suffering, and more pain. And, and, and that is very sad, really, if you see the consequences firsthand. Because getting a human is very, very fortunate. Being a human is very fortunate. Being call a human, being a human, standing up as a human is such an elegant, such a honorable, such a fortunate thing. Like you and I standing here as human. I have to emphasize this. It's very, very, very fortunate. Um, so using this human body to do this kind of uh, non-human things or rather uh, peaceful things or uh, things that are not uh, a, a, a proper human should be doing is sad, is tainting it, is wasting it is wasting that potential uh, it's such a painful thing to see so if we need to carry a point across so step one emotions and venerable continues with step two if we need to carry a point across we need to be firm in our stairs and tone when addressing the issues so we need to be firm we need to be as you say strict approach uh, to get the point across, but we cannot cross the threshold of being angry and lash out. That means you, you can be firm, you can be st st uh, how do you say, stern, but you cannot be angry. Outside, the performance is firm, all right? but inside, it's always amitofo. And carrying the word amitofo means compassion. It means inside, you're always chanting amitofo, amitofo, or thinking, it is the same thing. It's thinking, I want to benefit them. I want to protect them. I want to assist them from falling out 
uh, of the society and in future i want to help them f- uh, push them i mean how to pull them from the edge uh, of of suffering right compassion helping them so um that's what, what we should be doing right so first manage emotion second is uh, be firm in your point addressing it you need to be strict but inside you cannot be angry you, instead you should be sympathetic should be loving uh, should be like caring after your children so when venerable was a teacher he taught a classroom of lunianji year 6 uh he, or for five i forgot uh, he used kindness he used that kind of mindset you know what he taught us in 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 addressing the children's behavioral problems until he cried himself as well so students and him both cried at the end so that's how we should manage in an organization there is always rules and principles otherwise it will be chaotic if the behavior is wrong cross the line it has to be addressed firmly sta- uh, staunch firmly it has to be addressed in 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 principle so you have to be firm about holding the rules upright if they do something good reward them accordingly the order of management is very important however because if we start being loose and happy with them like very easy on them and then you get strict after that they will be ang- they will they will have how to say harbor grudges against you you always need to start being firm uh, i i took a liberty of saying like a drill sergeant walking into this army room they being strict straight ahead lay down the rules lay down the law before applying you know relaxation slowly and and that's how it should be done uh, start by being strict and firm on principle and rules then slowly relax as you go according to the context and that's how you successfully manage yourself and an organization i'm told